Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I have uh, two boxes here I'm going to be looking at. I got a hanger box and a blaster box of Topps 2023 Heritage. Uh, I already did a video on where I opened up a couple fat packs that I had found of 2023 Topps Heritage. And uh, you can check that out and I talked a little bit more about my thoughts on the design and everything and whatnot. Uh, this video... We're going to look at the cards, obviously, look a little bit at the design and the photos and whatnot, but this is going to be more of a comparison uh, of what you can kind of uh, expect to see out of getting a hanger box versus a blaster box. Um, quick little bit before I go into uh, these boxes. So I got back into the hobby just a few months back. And one of the first boxes that I got was a blaster box of 2022 Topps Heritage. And I managed to pull this Chris Bryant back card, like right out, like first box uh, back into the game. And I went on to pull a Carlos Correa back card and an Andrew McCutcheon jersey card out of uh, 2022 Topps Heritage. Uh, pulled all three of those out of blaster boxes. And uh, really that... Uh, Topps Heritage was the best in terms of uh, the rate at which I was getting these uh, Relic cards. Um, now, looking at Topps 2023 uh, Series 1, I almost exclusively was getting the uh, uh, hanger boxes of, of 2023 Topps. And I will say that I think that I was getting like you know a higher rate of insert cards uh, compared to the Blaster box. Um, and these were some of the cool cards I managed to pull from 2023 Tops. I got this Pedro Martinez All Aces card, which was one of the first uh, big inserts that I pulled. Absolutely love this set. Also got a Rookie Auto for Garrett Hill of the Tigers. And I got this Jersey card for Wilson Contreras. Um, so yeah, uh, 2022 Heritage, I got more Relic cards uh I had a higher rate of relic cards that I was getting, and 2023 tops. Uh, that's where I pulled my only auto that, uh, or one of my few autos that I pulled this year. And uh, just in general, I liked having the hanger boxes to go through because those had a little bit higher rate of getting some uh, cool looking inserts. And so with that out of the way, I'll move these to the side, and we're gonna take a look and basically compare how uh, the hanger box versus the blaster box holds up for 2023 Topps Heritage. All right, get this open. All right. Now, if you haven't opened up uh, hanger boxes before they all come uh in just a single pack like this uh the entire uh boxes uh contents are in this one single pack so in that sense i do kind of like uh opening the blaster boxes a little bit more just because you get that uh, uh the fun of opening up the individual packs and that's something that i've always enjoyed doing and so the way, at least with 2023 tops, with the hanger boxes, you'll have a stack of base cards on the top and the bottom. And then in the center of the uh, pack here is where you'll find any uh, inserts. So we're going to get started off. First off, we've got O'Neill Cruz with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, obviously, he's dealing with that broken ankle right now. Uh, we got Jerkson Profar with the San Diego Padres. Josh Rojas with the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is a nice uh, action shot here. I like this one. Uh, actually, oh, this is funny. Uh, he's listed here as the third baseman, but this is from a game when uh, it looks like he's manning second or short. Uh, we got Jesus Aguilar with the Orioles. We got Jared Walsh with the Angels. Again, I pointed this out in my other video, but it's still kind of weird to only just now realize that it's been this way for a while. But uh, all the Angels cards, I forget the exact reason why, but none of them will have the city name up here on the top like you have with the Baltimore Orioles here. It's all just going to say Angels. And there's some sort of like uh, naming rights issue that's been going on for a few years, and that's why that is. All right, we got Rugnet Odor with the Baltimore Orioles. 
We got Trent Grisham with the San Diego Padres. Luis Severino with the New York Yankees. Ooh, we got a nice uh, horizontal shot. Hunter Dozier with the Kansas City Royals. He was DFA'd a little while ago. Matt Strom with the Philadelphia Phillies. We got a rookie card here for Garrett Hill. Actually, you know, that's kind of funny. That's the uh, uh, guy that got the autograph from 2023 Tops. So that was kind of coincidental to pull him out to show in this video. Lo again, I love the horizontal photos. It's a nice shot of him on the follow-through. Kyle Schwarber with the Philadelphia Phillies. We got Tony Kemp with the Oakland Athletics. Marco Gonzalez with the Seattle Mariners. We got Glenn Otto with the Texas Rangers. A rookie card for Oscar Gonzalez with the Cleveland Guardians. We got Jake Cronenworth with the San Diego Padres. Julio Urias with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Emmanuel Clays, or Classe, I forget how to pronounce it. Uh, I do like this. This is a nice looking photo here. Eloy Jimenez with my White Sox. Very nice. Like to see this card. Edwin Diaz, New York Mets closer, sidelined with that uh, knee injury. Again, horizontal photo. I like it. Santiago Espinal with the Blue Jays. We got Michael Waka with the Boston Red Sox. We got Shane Bieber with the Cleveland Guardians, rumored to be uh, heading on the move uh, sometime by t this year's trade deadline. We got Johnny Cueto with the Miami Marlins. He had a really nice year with the White Sox last year. Eric Haas with the Detroit Tigers. All right, we got a flashback card, uh, 1974, Charles de Gaulle Airport Opens. This is kind of interesting. A news flashback. That's what uh, this insert is. Uh, we got Cincinnati Reds pitcher Graham Ashcraft rookie card. We got Logan Gilbert with the Mariners. Another rookie card, David Hensley with the Houston Astros. We got Zach McKinstry with the Chicago Cubs. Here we have the 2022 stolen base leaders, Jorge Mateo and John Birdie with the Baltimore Orioles and the Miami Marlins. Luis Guillorme with the New York Mets. I think he's down in the minors right now, uh, last I remember. Uh, Lorenzo Cain with the Brewers, who he is no longer with the Brewers. And then wrap this up with a rookie card for Justin Steele with the Chicago Cubs. And I gotta say, I'm surprised that this is a rookie card for him. Yeah, that uh, that doesn't seem quite right. I'm a little confused because you can see here, like I know that I went and uh, saw him pitch in a, a game against the Brewers like two years ago now, I think. And uh, you can see that he pitched 57 innings in 2021 with the Cubs and 119 uh, in 2022. So... Huh, that's that's interesting. Because I'm pretty sure he should have already uh, passed his rookie eligibility. Well, anyway, that was a hanger box. Um, didn't really know what to expect. It was my first time pulling a hanger box of Topps Heritage. And, uh, you know, obviously it's a little bit different from the... Uh, the main uh, flagship product line, Tops 2023. Uh, didn't really have a whole lot in the uh, way of inserts, but got some nice looking cards in there. And now we're gonna pop this blaster box open and see what we can get out of this one. See if maybe we can get a uh, jersey card if we get lucky in here. All right. All right, so we got, uh, let's see, six eight packs in here. And we'll open up the first one. All 
All right, and now we're going to start this off. We got Corey Kluber with the Red Sox. Glaber Torres with the Yankees. Alec Bohm with the Phillies. Got a rookie card slash rookie cup card for Joey Manessis. Manessis? I forget how to pronounce the name. With the Nationals. We got a Christopher Morell rookie card for the Chicago Cubs. That's nice. We got Brady Singer with the Royals. Corbin Burns with the Brewers. Very nice to have that one. And we got Ryan Hensley with the Cardinals. And nice, Tim Anderson with the Chicago White Sox. Nice way to end off this first pack. Nice photo there, too. All right. All right, so first off, we got Chris Bryant with the Colorado Rockies. Uh, another Rockies, we got this time pitcher, German uh, Marquez. Seattle Mariners, Ty France. Chicago Cubs pitcher Marcus Stroman. Detroit Tigers pitcher Matt Manning. Uh, no longer with the Twins. He's bounced around a few teams already, but Gary Sanchez. Jose Altuve with the Houston Astros. We got JT Real Muto with the Philadelphia Phillies. And I pointed this out in my uh, video uh, looking at the two fat packs that I ripped open. I do like how they really kind of nailed the feel of these uh, uh, old school uh, photos from the original set. Then last we got Nestor Cortez with the New York Yankees in this pack. Now we move on to number three. All right. We got, <laughs> okay, so I saw somebody point this out uh, online, this Matt Walner rookie card with the Minnesota Twins, and there's just something that seems off about his face in this photo. I'm really not sure <laughs> what's up. I think somebody said that this looks like the face of the uh, 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 generic player on like MLB The Show, but uh yeah, I think that they must have done some sort of, like, uh, uh, airbrushing or something to try and make this photo look a little bit more older style or something. I'm not sure, but it's an uh, unusual look to uh, this card. All right, we got Raphael Devers with the Boston Red Sox. Brian Reynolds, horizontal photo, Pittsburgh Pirates. Another horizontal. This is a rookie card for Easton McGee. And I love how you can see the uh, ball just uh, coming out off his fingertips there. Carlos Perez, rookie card with the White Sox. Nice. Uh, Matt Chapman with the Blue Jays. Oh, this is a cool one. Uh, then and now, I pulled one of these cards too in uh, my other video. We got Johnny Bench and Pete Alonso, And this is... National League RBI leaders in 1974 and 2022. And uh, Pete Alonzo had two more RBI last year than Johnny Bench did in 74. I like the look of those cards. Uh, Max Stassi with the Angels. And then wrap it up with uh, Gabriel Moreno, rookie card with the Arizona Diamondbacks. I don't remember his stats off the top of my head, but I feel like I remember I've been... Uh, Hearing that he's been having a pretty good year out there in Arizona. All right, let's see. What do we got in here now? All right, start off with Bobby Dahlbeck with the Boston Red Sox. Andrew Vaughn with the Chicago White Sox. Very nice. This is a nice photo. I like uh, the look on this one. Uh, rookie card, Noah Davis with the Colorado Rockies. Uh, Riley Green rookie card with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, quite a few rookies back-to-back. -back. Uh, Shea Langoliers with the Oakland Athletics. Jose Trevino, New York Yankees. Very nice. All right, we got Nolan Ryan, Frank Robinson, Mike Trout, and Shohei Otani. Uh, these are sticker cards, I believe. Or no, these... Okay, this might uh, be a stamp card. Because I can see... I don't know how well... You can kind of see it right there. It's got a perforation around 
all four of these, and it's got that kind of like ragged edge look of like a stamp. So that's kind of cool. I grew up an Angels fan, so this is actually really pretty cool to get uh, all four of these guys here. This is a really cool looking thing here. All right, we got uh, Milwaukee Brewers' William Contreras. And wrap it up with a nice uh, follow-through on the swing from Anthony Santander with the Baltimore Orioles. All right, on to the next pack. We are just over halfway through. All right, so we got Alec Thomas with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Another Diamondbacks. Oh, this is a nice shot. Oh, I, I love the photography on this card. Carson Kelly, Arizona Diamondbacks, trying to make the play at the plate. This this might be my favorite photo so far from uh, this set. Love that action shot. All right, we got Alejandro Kirk with the Toronto Blue Jays. Starling Marte with the Mets. Cole Irvin with the Athletics. Yusei Kikuchi with the Blue Jays. Kyle Wright with the Atlanta Braves. We got Blake Snell with the Padres. And then Fernando Tatis Jr. with the Padres. End that pack on a couple of Padres. All right. Next up, we got a Cal Mitchell rookie card for the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, let's see. We got Justin Verlander and Kyle Wright, 2022 victory leaders. Very nice. We got a rookie card for San Diego Padres shortstop Matthew Batten. We got all-star third baseman Manny Machado and Rafael Devers. Okay, we got a rookie card, rookie cup card for uh, Vinny Pasquantino with the Kansas City Royals. I actually saw, got to see him uh, play a little bit uh, out in the Appalachian League when I worked with the Bristol Pirates out there uh, for a couple years. So that's kind of cool to see him uh, uh, get a card of his and see him up in the majors. All right, so we got George Kirby with the Mariners. New Age Performers, Bobby Witt Jr. Nice looking card here, nice looking design. All right. Hyunjin uh, Ryu with the Toronto Blue Jays. And then wrap this up with Nick Castellanos with the Phillies. Down to our final two packs. All right, we got Matt Brash with the Seattle Mariners. Tyler Anderson with the Angels. Rookie card here for... Bailey Falter with the Phillies. I like the look of this card. Follow through, uh, horizontal. Really sharp looking card there. We got a Drew, Drew Waters rookie card with the Kansas City Royals. Another rookie card in Israel Pineda with the Washington Nationals. Another rookie card. Uh, I'm going to butcher this name. Igai Rosario. That's my guess. I apologize if I'm butchering it. Horrifically. Harrison Bader with the Yankees. Ooh, these are always my favorite shots when you got the pitcher and the follow through. You have the batter and the umpire here. Just a little bit of the catcher's helmet right there. You got the ball frozen in midair between them. I love these shots. I'm always a sucker for these shots. And when I'm able to get a good photo like that, those are always the best for me. And then wrap this up with Wander Franco with the Tampa Bay Rays. Now we're down to our final pack. What do we got in here? All right, we start this off with uh, Aaron Judge Special. This is an interesting looking card. So it's got the, uh, print, the photos of his Tops 2021 and Tops 2022 uh, uh, base cards. It's kind of interesting. And this kind of just gives a, uh, uh, what's it called, an overview of his uh, 
uh, last few seasons in the majors. This is kind of an interesting uh, insert card that I was not expecting to see in here. We got Max Meyer with the Miami Marlins, a rookie card. Alec Manoa with the Blue Jays. He was just sent down a little while ago to work on uh, uh, getting his mechanics all fixed up. A Hunter Brown rookie card for the Houston Astros. Gerard or Harar Encarnacion rookie card with the Miami Marlins. Michael Chavez with the Pittsburgh Pirates. This is a sharp looking uh, portrait photo right here. Jorge Mateo with the Baltimore Orioles. Nathaniel Lowe, or Lau, I forget which one it is with him, uh, with the Texas Rangers. And then wrap it up, ooh, nice action photo here with my White Sox, Elvis Andrews. You got the dirt kicked up, you got the ball coming to the gloves, charging to make the play. Love this card. Nice way to end off this box. So that was a hanger box and a blaster box of 2023 Topps Heritage. Um, all in all, like I kind of said with uh, the fat packs that I opened up, I really like the look of this product. This is always a, a fun uh, set for me to go through and try and build up. Uh, wasn't expecting, didn't really know what to expect with the ha hanger box because like I said, I'd really only gotten the 2023 uh, Tops Series 1 hanger boxes. Uh, as we can tell, didn't really have the same uh, formula to how the cards were packaged in there. Really weren't, really wasn't like a center uh, to that sandwich uh, with any real inserts or anything in this hanger box. Um, I know that Topps Heritage doesn't really have it as much in the way of uh, inserts, but still wasn't exactly expecting how it turned out there. But all in all, again, I still love this set. I still like the look of this set and the feel of this set. Uh, this was about $12 or $13, and this was about $24 for the blaster box. Um, I gotta say, going forward in the future, when I go to pick up more of these, I think I'm probably gonna stick to the blaster box, uh, just because I got more cards out of it, and I actually got a few more, uh, interesting looking, uh, insert cards and whatnot, uh, out of the blaster box than I did out of... Uh, Topps Heritage uh, 2023 hanger box. Um, but yeah, all in all, I think I would recommend if you're going to go retail with uh, this product, I would recommend trying to stick with the blaster boxes. I think that uh, you'll be a little bit happier with how uh, that turns out for you. And that'll do it for today's episode. And thank you so much for watching.